Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's bird video. We're going to have a look at weather. Let's take 14 days for today's bird video. Day 10 will take us to the 4th of uh, November and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the uh, Extension Affairs and ECM Ensembles. Maybe we'll try to go weeks. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for November itself and I should get on that for you. In a moment, just save that first. The video shows our 6am UK weather forecast. We've also released January Friday. We've got the ECM WF 42 day slash six weeks. Okay, coming up for you uh, this evening around 7pm. So please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Feeling a lot better today. I had, uh, had a uh, good sleep yesterday. Slept off by migraine. And uh, today, um, not a thing too bad. Thank you for all of your lovely messages of concern and support. As always. Right, we'll crack on with the video then. Sunny off century temperature. The CT is uh, still sitting at 11.4. That's 0.9 of a degree. Above the 61 to 99 average official to yesterday to the 24th of October. With one week to go, I think we're going to finish up in the 11s uh, for the first time since 2009. So, um, been a long time coming since we've had an 11 Celsius CT finish for October. But uh, I reckon we uh, might just pull that off this, uh, this month. We'll see. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at Derby today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Derby. And we're starting off above average with the upper air temperature at the moment. We'll be keeping the upper air temperatures above average generally uh, for the week ahead as well. And even through the first week or 10 days or so of November, we keep those uh, upper air temperatures largely above normal. So a prolonged mild spell to come in terms of the uh, upper air temperatures may not necessarily be so all the time on the surface though there's a bit of cold snap but it could be showing up here as well around the beginning of uh, november we might start to import some colder air into the area of high pressure so um even if the upper air temperatures do lift up through the first uh, later on through the first week of november if it's cold on the surface, um, we might have to start thinking about frost and fog. A little bit of gruesome toothsome, maybe. Um, Precipitation-wise, lots of dry weather to come over the uh, next couple of weeks. Plus a bit more unsettled there by around sort of the 8th to 10th of November. But of course, that's a very, very long way off. It's extended range and is therefore unreliable. Temperature normally is on the 25th of October to 2nd of November, uh, above average, a mild average week come. And precipitation anomaly is on the 25th of October, 2nd of, of November, drier than normal. A latest wind from that from Earth, nullschool.net shows that I've actually got an area of low pressure just to the southwest approaches today, and that at low is bringing some showery weather into the south and the west. Okay, let's start going through chart data then. We start the latest UK mate, you're a rose with big night on Monday. Westerly winds, high pressure south, low pressure north, flats pancake. And as we go through to middle of the week, high pressure uh, developing, building over the top of the country. So mostly dry into the second half next week. Quite mild as well. Um, could be, you know, chilly by night if the skies are clear under that area of high pressure. But again, but when it's it's it, 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 Put teeth in gap. Fundamentally, it is a mild ridge that has built up from the south up to 1st of November. I can't again flat pancake for Monday, then high pressure builds across the country, choosing Wednesday. High and dry through to the end of next week, but a subtle change in position of the high pressure by next Friday, 1st of November, might just start to import some slightly cooler air into that area of high pressure into northern parts of uh, Scotland, maybe. So the KMA is looking, so again, high pressure is a dominant uh, through the middle part of uh, next week. Then the high pressure repositioning to uh, sit between Iceland and Scotland by Saturday the 2nd of November. So around that we start to bring the wind in a little bit more from the east of the north. East. That brings some cooler air, not necessarily cold, but cooler air into that area of the high pressure. And then the high pressure sits over the top of the country 
keeping the fight weather going to a sixth of November. But because of the cooler air that's been imported into the high pressure, we might start getting some frost and fog. Quite a cold plunge, you'll notice, across um, northern and eastern parts of Europe with both northerly winds setting in there, by the way. So a real blast of winter down the eastern side of Europe, potentially through the first week of November. Right, let's move on to the GFS, some GFS midnight run is uh, looking. So once more, we're a low pressure north, high pressure south on Monday, and then high pressure builds strongly across the country through the middle and last stages of next week. High pressure tries to get north, but doesn't really do so. However, we might start to bring some slightly cooler air into that area of high pressure from um, the east. We remain high and dry up to day 10. As well, possibly some uh, frost and fog by uh, night, you know, early and late at night morning under that area of high pressure by uh, by day 10, 4th of November. Eventually, the high pressure begins to slip towards eastern parts of Europe, but still exerting its influence right way towards the end of the GFS run, really. So, get to the 10th of uh, November as far as we get to, and uh, that high pressure still in control. Of the weather. The wind is coming up from a southerly southeast direction, but it might not necessarily be all that mild because, you know, it's a light wind. So, um, and the further on with this pack we go through uh, November, the greater the chance that we'll start get some frost and fog going, I suspect. GFS uh, 6Z, in comparison, once more flat as pancake for Monday, and then high pressure taking over through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. High pressure by Friday, but begin to push a bit further north compared to the midnight run. The high pressure is getting up towards Greenland and Iceland, and so around that we start to bring the wind in much more from the northeast. There's actually, some quite cold air into that high pressure um, by next weekend. That's Saturday, 2nd of November. We are looking pretty cold there. We might spy ourselves iceberg coming south into the air. Area. High pressure is certainly cold enough for um, some quite widespread overnight frost, I would have thought. Especially as that high pressure uh, starts to sit over top of the country around days 9 and 10. So, um, you know, under that high pressure, I reckon we will, get, we will get some quite cold nights at the very least. High pressure has another go, going back north once again. <coughs> So sorry, if we knew how to be cost some wedding you um, by the 5th of November. Again, we are on the periphery of some really quite cold air that's plunging samples into northern Europe with those northerly winds, by the way. Um, but the high pressure keeps it up there, that, that cold northerly push. But under the high pressure, again, I reckon there could be some frost and fog and that sort of thing. And the high pressure goes on to the end of the GFS 6 z run as well. Goodness gracious me, lots of high pressure, isn't there? Uh, well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure to share one more doom out. Want to drop a comment? Let's stay uh, what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Well, let's get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. We only need to put around 18, 1 8 subscribers now to get ourselves to 18.9k. So we are very, very close to our next 100 within 18k. If you could give us a sub, that'd be absolutely awesome and incredible. We thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, GM, again, flat westerly, south westerly is for Monday, and then high pressure taking over and uh, becoming dominant for the middle part of the week. Then the high pressure begins to pull out to our uh, west, so by the time you get through to next uh, weekend, which is the 2nd, 3rd of November, colder air again is starting to uh, come south into that area of high pressure as it reaches northwards up to Greenland and uh, Iceland. See, so minus five cells, Iceland, then they're plunging southwards into the northern half of the country. And uh, then high pressure still in control. So we've lots of dry weather over that first weekend of November, but it's certainly uh, a lot colder with those upper air temperatures and will be on the surface as well with the risk of our first real notable overnight frost. We've had a few frosts through this autumn so far through October, etc. But our first really notable sub-zero across most parts of the country type nights um, would be, would be realised there. I think, with that pattern over the first weekend of November. That's day 10. Again, high pressure remains in control, but it looks pretty cold with wind coming in from the north and from the northeast. <coughs> so, show you once more, everyone. And then the East Shadow WF once again is flat as a pancake for uh, Monday. west southwesterly winds, and then high pressure takes over through the middle part of the week. High pressure then pulls out to our west by the end of next week, starting to bring 
from uh, colder air samples. Really, it's looking really warm with the upper air temperatures, has to be said. Uh, still to the end of next week. But uh, by the weekend of the 2nd and the 3rd of November, we're turning colder with winds coming in from the north or northeast direction. Down comes that minus 5 cells iceberg. So a widespread overnight frost would be likely during that first weekend of November under the area of high pressure, which stays in control up to day 10. This is a precipitation forecast based on it in Chevron from Tibet Jericho from the showery burst around today. And then some more wet weather coming in south which cross the country tomorrow. After that, most of the rain is in the north. The south will be a little bit drier, but some showers are still possible there early next week. And then high pressure takes over through the middle part of the week, turning mostly dry. They try to wait wintry showers coming in towards the north of Scotland during that first weekend of November before high pressure kills off any shower risk or possibility. These are the options on the table in the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 4th of November. 19 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure right over top of the country, so that can be mostly dry. Could be a little bit chilly. 15 have high pressure a bit more out to our west. That brings in uh, quite a cold northwesterly to northerly flow. We've got 10 um, with lower pressure, actually, in the Atlantic. That's trying to re-establish a milder but more unsettled Atlantic flow. And then we've got seven with high pressure ridging in from the west. Again, a lot of dry weather with that, but probably quite chilly as around that high pressure would bring the wind in from the north and from the northeast. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 9th of November. 12 members of the ECM ensemble still with a ridge just out to our west. So, mostly dry. Could be a little bit chilly with wind direction, though. We've got uh, Tam. Uh, we've got more unsettled low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic there. Uh, we've got 9. Are we under high pressure or low, <laughs> low pressure? Um, with this one, I reckon that's probably going to be a ridge. Um, but I'm unsure. But it looks like the projection is going to be up here. So I think that's a ridge. Um, we have got, uh, we've got eight here. Um, now what's that doing? So I suspect that's going to be a low. I think that's like, um, like a Wesley type flow. I do wish the Icelandic Met Office would bring the colours back. Every day I say it, and every day they don't do it. But please bring the colours back, Icelandic Met Office. Wesley is um, with bow seven there, and then five with a nice ridge in the Atlantic, mostly dry, but a little bit chilly with that, with winds coming in. For the North East. I hope I've got my interpretation right there. CFS meets you finally. This is the latest 700 millibar height anomaly idea from the uh, CFS. Um, remember, we changed daily, but today's idea still with high pressure from the Atlantic into western parts of Europe that uh, keeps us mostly dry. Temperature normally no better than average or has no signal, so could be a little bit cool under that area of high pressure. And although a very weak signal, perhaps a drier than average month would be uh, most likely under that persistent high pressure. I will see. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers. Get them to subscribe to 18 subscribers. Gets us to 18.9k. So please give us a sub. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Uh, we've got the ECM WF42 day. Slash six weeks. Okay, coming up for you this evening at 7 p.m. So uh, check that out later on. And over weekend, if we get another epic weekend of, co of content tomorrow, we've got 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've got the second winter 2024-25 seasonal model round. That's a big video coming up tomorrow. Again, all of the long range models together for only the, the second time this season. That's going to be a uh, very important and really, you know, quite pivotal video at 10 a.m. tomorrow. We've got the, uh, we've got weekend forecast and the centre voting down. And then on Sunday, again, 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, the epic knife winter 2024-25 update. Um, and also we'll be live at 6 p.m. on Sunday evening. And uh, with that, we will be including a 10 to 14 day. And, of course, we'll show you some long range as it is a Sunday live stream. 
So lots to look forward to over the weekend. You have a fantastic uh, Friday boat. Don't forget to check out the ECF WF42 Day Forecast this evening. And uh, we'll see you, you know, either then or over the weekend in one of the videos or for the live. Um, but for this one, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.